morning, Avon. I'm Hyvie Nugent. And I'm Ryan Rohde. Thanks for watching the Oriole Report. Let's send it over to Ethan Brooks to see what the weather has in store for us today. Thanks, Ryan. Today will be mostly overcast, but little to no rain is expected. Tomorrow we'll have partly sunny skies throughout most of the day. Expect some rain showers tomorrow evening into the night. Friday, our high temperature for the day hits 50 degrees and the chance for some scattered rain showers. And Saturday will be another cloudy day with a chance of more rain as temperatures stay warmer. Back to you. The BPA extravaganza starts next week. On Monday, you can buy three cookies for $2 with a message that can be delivered to a friend during SRT. Wear green on Tuesday. Head to Monocle's Pizza for a night out with BPA and give your younger siblings a ride to Hot Skates on Friday. We'll have more details on this coming next week. In sports, the boys JV basketball team heads to Martinsville to play at 6 p.m. tonight. The boys varsity basketball team will play Martinsville at 7.30. Good luck, guys. Now let's take a look into the GSA club and see why members say you might consider joining. Are you looking for a new club to join? Then try coming to GSA. For those who don't know what GSA is, what it stands for, and what the goal is, GSA President Oliver Ott explains. GSA stands for Genders and Sexualities Alliance, and the main goal of this club is to provide a safe environment for any LGBT students or allies who are able to come to any of the meetings. There are also people who support the LGBT community called allies. For those wondering what an ally is and how they are involved, GSA officer Fletcher Clark tells us. GSA isn't just for those who identify as LGBT. Allies are welcome too. An ally is anyone who is accepting and supporting of people in the LGBT community. For those who aren't sure if they want to join, Oliver shares his experiences with being in GSA. I'd really encourage you to come to any meetings if you can. It's a really fun time and I've made a lot of friends through it. I know a lot of people have made friends through it and it's really fun to be there. So if you're able to come out, please do it. GSA meets every other Thursday from 3 to 4. For room location, please check the GSA schedule outside of Miss Steppy's room. Remember, GSA has a meeting tomorrow from 3 to 4 here in the AHS Media Center, where Mrs. Young will give a presentation about LGBT books that you can check out here from the library. For AHS News, I'm Megan McLaughlin. Want to travel the world? You could go to Europe on spring break 2020. Here's Brooke Paul with more details. Soon you'll be able to go on a Europe trip. We've asked Ms. Shamha for more information about this exciting opportunity. So spring break of 2020, Mrs. Kirkpatrick, Mr. Colton and I are taking students and their families to Scotland, England, and France. And this is the first time that we've done a custom tour, so we've actually been able to pick out exactly the places where we want to go. The first thing they can expect not to do is homework. Um, this is a real world learning experience so we don't actually assign any work. We want students to thrive in the environment they're going to be placed in which is you know new foreign opportunities. Um, so this year we're having students actually plan part of their own day while we're in London and part of their own day while we're in Paris. However, when we're in Scotland, we're going to be traveling up into the Highlands and we'll be uh, touring around the Loch Ness Lake, so maybe we'll find Nessie. And then we'll take a train down to London, we'll get an excursion out to Stonehenge. Um, we'll get to tour most of London, including Shakespeare's Globe Theatre, and then we'll spend part of a morning doing the Harry Potter backstage tour experience for those of you who like Harry Potter. And then we'll take a train down to Paris where we'll get to see Notre Dame, the Eiffel Tower, and get some free time around Paris as well. So if students and their families come to an informational meeting on Thursday, February 22nd at 6.30 p.m. in the ALC Lecture Hall, we'll have all that information about how to sign up, how we approach our safety while we're on tour, um, as well as more information about the trip. It's a wonderful opportunity. Uh, we're really excited about this trip since we got to choose the itinerary ourselves and not be squeezed into one box. Um, this is now our fifth tour that we've done this. Um, so it's a great experience and we encourage people to come to the meeting on Thursday, February 22nd. This sounds like an awesome trip that you don't want to miss. For AHS News, I'm Brooke Paul. For graduation this year, all caps and gowns will be black rather than black for males and gold for females used previously. Trevor Tracy gives us some insight into what seniors think about this change. 
There is a change coming to Avon High School graduation this year. All students will now wear black caps and gowns for graduation. In the past, girls wore gold and boys wore black to include both school colors. Now everyone will wear the same black gowns. We asked some Avon High School students what their opinions are on the change. Honestly, I don't like it because I feel like it should be diverse for everyone. So like boys in black and the girls in gold. Um, I feel like the gold gowns are like way too flashy and there's more that goes with the black. And I know that a lot of the cords that you can get at graduation and all the other accessories tend to be gold. So there's more contrast with the accessories that can go along with it. Um, I think gold would have complimented my eyes and I'm very offended that I didn't get a choice because I would rather wear gold than black because I'm a girl. It just does not look good, it doesn't compliment us, and we just hate it. We hate it, and they didn't even ask us. Um, I feel like the class of 2018 has been robbed of a lot of the things that we could have did, like all the traditions, and I don't think it's fair at all. I agree with Samaya. I feel like they should have kept the tradition, and I just feel like I would look so good with gold and white. Does it really matter what you wear when you graduate? Because you're going to graduate. Does it really matter? Green, red, blue, orange, yellow, white, purple. If you're wearing it and you walk across that stage to get your diploma, you're graduated. It doesn't matter. Because when you're done, you're done. And you're off to new, better, bolder, greater things. Don't forget, the graduation ceremony is May 25th at 7 p.m. For AHS News, I'm Trevor Tracy. That's all for your oral report. Have a wonderful day, Avon. I've been living a lonely life. I've been sleeping here instead. I've been sleeping in my bed. Sleeping in my bed.